all right guys so welcome to the session and in this particular session we are going to talk about how to install mysql in windows so let's get started first of all you will go to google and you will look for mysql database download for windows and you will get this link dev.mysql.com downloads installer when i click on this link you will get this option where you can see we are having two options to install one is the web installer second is the normal software installer you can choose microsoft windows here and you will have the option here microsoft windows after that you will have two options coming in and you will go with this option to download i click on this download and then i already did that so you have to click on this download and you will get this installer in your machine once you have that you will find this file which is mysql installer community 8.0.32.0 i'll click on that so here this page will open up please wait while windows configures mysql installer community this installation process will take some time so here you can see it's opening up now here the setup is getting started now what i will do is i will go ahead and i will choose the custom option because i wanted to show you what all things i am going to install in my machine so i click on this custom option click on the next now here you are getting this page and here i will click on this plus sign i am going to install this mysql server 8.0.32 also if you click on the applications here i will choose this application which is mysql workbench which is nothing but one of the ides or you can say gui's where you can actually write the code so it's like a integrated development environment or it's like a graphical user interface apart from that i will go to the mysql connectors and here we will see if anything i need or not as of now i don't need it there is also one option called mysql shell and i will need this as well this is like a command prompt where also we can write some queries and it will get executed so i'll choose all these one by one and i click on this arrow so these are the three things which i want in my machine and i click next it will now start executing when i click this execute button now this will take some time here i will choose i agree this is the microsoft visual c++ i'll install and i click on close this is my altogether new machine it's a scratch it's a brand new machine i have so i will get this type of option of c++ but you may not have this option coming up so that's if you are not getting it that's absolutely okay next ready to install execute so now this step will take some time to install these three products all right so you can see that everything is now completed i'll click on the next click on the next again for configuration here you can see the port is 3306 nothing will be changed here everything will be as is i will not make any changes out here click next now here we have use strong password encryption for authentication we'll go with this option only next i'll give the password out here once that is done if you want to add new users you have this option to add user where you can give the user name and what type of host will be the local host what type of role you want to give you can give that role as well so when we are working in the industry you may have to generate more number of users but as of now we are working in the project which is the individual project so i'm okay with the default user that is the root the user id is root i click next 
here also I will not change anything click next here yes grant access to user running the windows services if applicable the administrators group only other users and group will not have access that's okay let's keep this as is and I will execute this and now it is installed successfully in this machine I will click finish next and finish once I click on this finish it will start mysql workbench and also mysql shell which is after setup so I click finish you can see this shell is coming up at the same time workbench will also open up in some time you can see the workbench is also opening up I'll minimize this for some time and I'll close this window as well and the first thing which I will do is I will go ahead to the folder which is this PC here I'll go to the C drive in the C drive I'll go to program files in program files we have mysql and we have here the server and we have here the bin I'll select this entire path this folders will get generated once you install mysql in your machine I'll copy this path and I'll go to windows and I will look for environment variables edit the system environment variables click on that click on this environment variables and in the system variables go to path and double click and here you can add the new and paste that path click ok click ok and click ok I am closing this window clicking on windows and I am looking for cmd that is command line prompt once I click on this and then I will type mysql hyphen hyphen version and will press enter so here you can see that mysql version 8.0.32 installed successfully I will close this window again click on the windows again and type cmd right click and I want to run this as an administrator now now I am opening with the administrator and now I want to log in to my SQL database using shell now here I will write mysql hyphen u root is my user id u is user so hyphen u means I want to give the user id and then again hyphen p p is for password and I will press enter and then I will give the password which I have selected or which I have decided at the time of the database installation and press enter now you can see that your database login has happened mysql is now open up we can run few commands and check whether this is working fine or not I will write show databases and here you can see that these are the default databases which are present in mysql as of now that is information schema mysql performance schema and sys that is sys I want to create my own database let's say we are going to work on HR data so I want to create the new database called HR or HRDB so I will write create database HR DB don't forget to put this semicolon and press enter so here you can see that query ok one row affected now I can use this arrow key up arrow will give me all the previous commands which we have ran so here we have show database command again coming in I will press enter again and once I am pressing the enter you can see that the first entry is HRDB that is the new database which you have created now I'll go to the workbench 
and here I will connect again. So basically I have to click here. It will ask for the password. And I'll press OK. And I am now logging into SQL Workbench. This is the place where actually we write the queries. I click on this schemas. And here you can see that you are having the HRDB also coming in. There are no tables, views, stored procedures and function. So that's okay. As of now, we did not create anything in this database. So you should be ready till this. From the next sessions, we are going to have a detailed discussion about how SQL works and we are going to create a lot of interesting tables and interesting insights from those tables once we are having the data in that. So I am very much excited. I hope you are going to have a great learning experience of MySQL. After completing this curriculum, you will have an amazing confidence which you never thought of. So see you in the next session. Till then, happy analyzing.